I started as a musician. I played in piano bars uh, to, to fund college. Way before I was interested in uh, computation, uh, music was my life. And when I first was introduced uh, as a teenager to uh, computing, I really saw the potential in pushing my musical experience to new frontiers. And in the beginning, I wrote software that basically listens and improvises. But I felt something is missing. Only when I got to actually Georgia Tech, I was able to finally uh, find some students for mechanical engineers. And we started developing robots. I'm still not feeling completely comfortable co calling myself roboticist. I'm, I'm a musician at heart, but obviously uh, robots is, is where I try to find the creative outlet. So today we are here at Georgia Tech Center for Music Technology. This is a robotic musicianship lab where we develop robotic musicians and new musical instruments. Robotic musicians can listen to music, they understand music like human, and then they improvise, but they improvise like machines in a way that hopefully would inspire us to play music and think about music in new ways. We're also developing new musical instruments that will allow humans to interact with robots, such as a guitar that you've just seen. This instrument is the voltage-controlled guitar. It was built as part of the Guthman Hackathon, which was a student instrument design competition. I'm used to playing with uh, human beings, and this reacts in a lot of ways like you'd expect a person to. It can hear what you're doing, kind of bounce ideas off of that. Uh, but in the same way, there's some things that are more rigid, that are predefined. You can't talk to it except for through playing music or through changing the programming of it. There are three main functionalities for robotic musicians which will define it from just software that plays music. The fact that they can actually create acoustic sound as opposed to software. If I play with software, there's something different with acoustic sound, some richness that really brings something much more emotional and expressive to the music. The other element is that I can play a particular beat and the robot would start to nod its head to the beat and it grooves to the beat. And in some cases, it can come up with its own idea. He said, okay, this is too slow and will start to bob faster and then I will play faster. And the third element is what we call embodiment. The robot actually has to think about its own body. It has to think about its own capabilities. It, in this particular robot has four arms. Just like when I play, I know I have 10 fingers, so my music perception is not only uh, abstract, it's also what can I play and how would I play it. Some people have asked me in the past, are you evil? Are you going to take the one thing that is so human, music, and even that you're going to bring to robots and make them better than us? Uh, because people have been used to the idea that a robot can build a car, idea that a robot is smart enough to clean a floor, but music sounds so human. So obviously, no. I'm not interested in replacing musicians with robots. The idea is almost the opposite. In none of our performances you will see just robots playing by themselves. It's always about the interaction with humans. Every time the robot improvises, it's based on a seed, on ideas from the human. So it's about me trying to inspire myself by building these robots. I want to enhance the musical experience of humans through bringing robots that will push music to think about music and play music in a completely different way. <laughs>